In this video I want to look at just setting up a very basic sunset sky effect and use the HDRI use sky feature in the image based lighting tab in the Skylab to create a glowing sun effect. So I'll start off by holding down the Alt key and turning the clouds off so I've got a plain sky. Hold down Control and Alt and double click on the sun rollerball and then hold down Control and Alt and click somewhere in the wireframe view it'll bring the sun into the scene wherever that was and it's going to be fairly low on the horizon so this is the setting sun in the default sky settings and that's uh, soft sky if we switch to custom sky it allows us to have more control over the appearance of the sky and the first thing I'm going to do is set up the HDRI backdrop that I'm going to add on to the sky so I'm going to knock the haze control out, alt and click on haze, so that's got rid of the haze and I'm just looking at uh, setting this up so I've got a glowing ball in the sky so if I hold um, the alt key down click on the sun colour I can set the sun colour, just make it sort of an orange and you can see what that looks like you can see the uh, physical size of the sun in the scene is rather large there so I'm going to change that now by uh, using the sun moon size control, set this one to 2.5 horizon illusion makes sun get larger as it gets towards the horizon, I don't want any of that, I just want specific control I'll render in scene, so I've made the sun quite a small object in the sky now and I'll render that, so you see now it's a small dot and this sun glow colour I'm going to set to orange also and the sky to fully black I'll just check that's fully black, hold the Alt key down and make sure that all the controls are set down. This uh, rise in colour interacts with the clouds and uh, the haze, but since we've got none of that anyway, that can be set to black. So just render that. We've got our sun. Now, when the sun is a vis visible object in the sky, the intensity in the HDRI is set by the diffuse. So I'm going to set the diffuse right up so it's the, a very intense blob in the sky. And then go into the IBL tab use HDRI image, use Skydome only, use Sky and I'll just use the default setting to generate this and I must remember that I don't want it as a light source and so I can turn those down to zero uh, I'll turn the quality down anyway even though it's not uh, generating in the light source it seems to improve the efficiency of its render and then use Sky um, use as a backdrop so that, and then add it to the sky and I'll make sure I've checked use sky colour um, I won't check that now and you'll be able to see the difference so as things stand it's recombined with itself and really created an intense effect uh, but I want to incorporate other things now so uh, I've got the backdrop added in I can now if I, if I modify the sky colour to blue it's not made any difference because I've not checked this control so if I use sky colour now it'll incorporate the backdrop with that so as you can see the uh, the effect of the halo is quite large so I can now change the size of this halo here in this control so I'll, t I'll reduce the intensity there of that halo so it then con starts to concentrate around where the, the sun appears in the sky and so now I've got a series of uh, gradients and uh, I can modify the sun colour and that that will only affect the the localized gradient there. So it, it looks rather bright at the moment, but this is because we've not introduced the haze. Now if I set this haze to the same orange colour, then that will start to take some, some light out of the sky. I can adjust the height of the haze. Uh, you'll notice the cloud switched back on automatically there. Then you can see it's starting to, to look uh, less bright already. So by controlling the height of the haze, I can control how bright this portion of the the sky seems. Now the sun itself can't get through the, this haze but because the HDRI object is very bright you see there's a, a bright square there so obviously the sun's not square except in Minecraft so what I could do is I can create a sphere I'll just enlarge that sphere and then I'll back out a bit and move it towards the horizon and then I can slip that over the sun and modify the material for that. I'll make it volumetric, give it full ambience, uh, edge softness, fuzzy factor, and then take the density down. Then I can use that to cover up the the square 
blob of the sun, which is why I wanted to make the sun quite uh, small because obviously I just move that further out because it's supposed to be a long way away. I can put that in there and then I can just move it around so it covers the square edge up. So now it's uh, got rid of that issue. So I've got I've quite a, a large area of the sky occupied by this bright halo of light and uh, obviously setting the, the sky very dark increases the contrast. But I think it should have some blue in it so if I make it a very dark blue Alt key down I can change the uh, settings here so make it much darker blue reduce the saturation a bit see how that looks so that's uh, the the yellow here is because the addition of the orange so if I, if I made that a different color as well that would change the response so that's because that's blue now it's shifted it more towards the purpley end of the spectrum if it's orange it shifts it more to the yellow end of the spectrum uh, likewise so I can always reduce the intensity of that glow which tends to shrink down its size so you can see in the preview here the influence it's having so it can be quite extreme if you wish it there and that's creating a broad area of yellow in the sky um, I just consider what happens when if I take this infinite plane and I use one of the uh, shared materials you can pick up from uh, Bryce5.com here so uh, this is one I made and it's just uh, sort of reflective water you can see the you've got to consider the uh, f if you put this uh, volumetric blob over the sun that you need to put it quite a long way away because even at this distance is that there's the reflection of the real sun and there's the reflection of the volume that's hiding the sun so that's just something to be aware of I think overall it's looking a bit bright so I might try regenerating this uh, so I just knock the haze out and and knock the clouds out, make the sun my orange colour, I'll make it a bit darker this time, make the sun glow the orange colour. Now, <coughs> the, even though this is how it looks at the moment, you've got to bear in mind that when you generate the HDRI image, it only takes uh, account of the sky settings, not the HDRI image that's being added to it, so it's going to look different when I generate it. You see, I've also included the blue of the sky, so if I now add this it, it'll it'll look different again from as it did before so it's not quite as intense but I've got the blue in the sky so I might not want that I'll have a look at this glow intensity I'll make that less and uh, and then and then generate the sky again you can just keep doing this until you're happy with the results so that's quite a small blob use add to sky use sky color that allows me to bring the blue back in so if you now look how it's added together it's a bit more bit more concentrated and then put the blue in the sky that's added in made it a bit brighter probably a bit too bright so I'll make that darker and then we've got it concentrated on the horizon then switch the the haze back in to give my haze effect which will all darken things again and if I'm going to use the Bryce clouds the at this point uh, because we've got the haze going we can use the horizon color to change the color of those clouds and there's another con color control here and I think that affects the cumulus cloud color. To, to de determine what, what effect that's having make it a, a bright color and switch the clouds on and see how they become tinted by that color so make it something else that's not in the scene and you can see its influence there so that's made that quite red I don't know whether I even want those clouds in the scene so I'll just uh, I'll just knock them out again so it's a very basic setup for a sunset sky uh, this control here, if you hold the left key down and drag it, you can alter the frequency of the clouds in the sky. But uh, for for, uh, for more realistic effects, then I would say you want to start looking at uh, volumetric clouds. So I'll, I'll just knock those clouds out at the moment, consider the basic backdrop, and then go into the Skylab and using the atmosphere tab we can look at the influence of the haze density and thickness. And thickness tends to make it reach the camera more so it'll have more influence in the foreground as well whereas density seems to make it into a, like a wall of haze so if I turn the density right up and lower the thickness you can push the haze into the background and uh, you still have quite a thick band on the horizon but you have the full saturated colors towards the uh, towards the camera which can be nice now switch the clouds back in you'll see that the clouds get lost towards the horizon so 
there's quite a few controls to play with and as I say if you, uh, if you keep going back and regenerating the sky you can uh, you can change the effect of having the, the sun and the sky effects added back in what tends to happen is that uh, you don't think the uh, that the HDRI the adding the HDRI in is having much effect until you take it out and realize how dull the sky looks by comparison so if we knock the user's background here off this sky you'll see that uh, it, it looks a lot duller and darker as a result which is why I choose to use this effect just to uh, create, create uh, this in intense brightness uh, close to the sun so as I say um, the, the haze interacting with the, the standard brass and will tend to cover it up so if you want that to, to really come through then uh, using the volume material there's uh, probably a good trick so that's just a, a simple basic rundown of how to create a sunset sky incorporating HDRI backdrop by adding it into the sky so that's the end of the tutorial hope you found that uh, interesting